Okay, so this is basically the plans um, that I've got going in motion for my frost-proof um, livestock water bucket for their drinking water. So the whole purpose is that um, this is their rubber um, drinking bowl. It's like 10 gallons or 15 gallons or something like that, I don't remember. And what I did is I found a, a tire from a um, local uh, auto shop that just gave me one of their junk tires. And I filled the inside of the tire with um, this bubble wrap that I got from work. Um, and I packed it really, really, really tightly. And then I cinched up um, everything so that the insulation wasn't spilling out with this uh, landscape fabric um, that you can get at any hardware store. Um, and uh, I just cinched it up with a layer of it on the inside with duct tape. And then I put a final layer around that I tried to crease up as much as possible without having seams that are visible and um, made final touches and cinchings with uh, these zip ties. Um, so the whole point is that you put the bowl inside of here and then the black insulated rubber of the tire um, will hopefully, and you want to make sure you have a good seal too, um, you put this in here, you want it to kind of fit nice and snug, um, will hopefully keep uh, frost from developing. And uh, what I'm going to do is with these little rings that are on the side, these little hooks, I'm going to weave um, a tether to a little floater ball, um, a little plastic you know, floater that will hopefully disturb the water enough um, and not fly away because it's tethered to keep it from freezing. And then at nighttime, what I'm going to do is I've got this trash can lid that happens to fit perfectly over the top of this thing. And what I did is I got a um, foam insulation, that pink uh, foam panel type insulation. And I cut a circle that will fit um, just snugly enough so that you can pop it into here and it will create like a seal. And it'll be attached to this lid. And the way that I'm going to attach it to this lid um, so that it's protruding from the lid like that. Um, so that the pink foam goes inside of the rim of the tub, but then this is exposed to the air, the handle, or the lid, I should say. The way that I'm going to uh, adhere the foam to that is I'm going to drill a hole in the middle right here, and also right here in the middle of this thing. And then I'm going to use this bolt, and I need to find a washer that's the right size, but, you know, I'll just, uh, I, what I want to get is, like, a really thin, giant piece of, like, plastic that's used, you know, in, like, plastic boxes just to create, like, kind of a waterproof extra layer here that I can cut in the circle the same size, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, yeah, I'm going to just bolt it through, and, you know, like I said, I need to get the right type of washer, and I need to also fill this gap that's going to be in between the foam panel and the can lid with, uh, you know, whatever, like a spacer, like maybe a wooden block. It was, like, right, right there in between both of these, and then maybe I can even fill the void with, uh, what you call it with more of this uh bubble wrap or something just to add maybe a little more hard value to it but yeah we'll see how that goes all right so now i've got the lid kind of rigged so i've got the bolt going through the lid with the wooden spacers and then i've kind of wrapped this inner uh, cavity with a uh, bubble wrap to kind of bolster this uh wide wooden panel and give it some insulation i don't even know if that's going to do anything but in any case what's going to happen is this uh is going to lie on top and since i didn't have a bolt long enough ideally i would have had a bolt that was long enough to go all the way through this but i don't so what i'm going to do instead is I'm just going to lay this on top of here and tuck it in just so it's seated into the uh, rim of the trash can lid, just like that. So it's going to look like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, metal vent panel thing that I just found lying around the barn. And since I don't have a bolt that can go all the way through it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here, and I'm going to drill a hole here. And I'm going to send two wood screws through this that are going to pierce through the pink insulation panel and then dig into that wooden uh, spacer that's beneath it. So yeah, I'll drill a hole here and a hole here. And that will mount... The, the pink panel to the wooden uh, spacer and then after that the only thing I'm gonna do is just spray paint all the shit black and then maybe put a coat of a weather seal um, clear coat kind of shit on top of it um, that might not even be necessary but yeah here's a little update um, on the uh, frost proof water bowl thing so um, it got down into the uh, 20s last night and all the other water bowls that I had water in for the, the dogs and the chickens and the geese um, they all froze and they had big uh, pucks of ice inside of them. But let's check on this. It's about uh, like 29 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. And let's see how our uh, water here is doing. Oh, would you look at that? Not frozen. So yeah, it looks like this uh, This has worked out. I think uh, a lot of it is due to the fact that I covered it at night. I think that's extra important. Even with all this insulation, I highly doubt that this would be uh, thawed if um, you know I didn't cover it and the wind was having access to it. But yeah, like I said, as long as you cover this thing, um, every night and just take the time to do that extra little chore and then of course dump it out when it gets too dirty and refill it you know i think it's a great system um and if you have like a little ball or something that you can put to float on the top of the water to help uh blow around in the wind and keep the current of the water moving when it gets really cold outside during the day i think you should definitely do that i plan on doing that if i can get a ball so yeah 